All right, welcome back everyone. Dr. Ben, not a real doctor. And today, I'm gonna build off of what I talked about last week. Instead of focusing on building a body that looks good, you should be focusing on a body that's useful. What do I mean by building a body that's useful? So you go into the gym, you do your bicep curls, your leg extensions, your leg curls. Those are all exercises that are designed to build muscle and build strength. But the problem with that is, is they're very, very isolated exercises. Uh, even more compound exercises like squats and deadlifts need to be broadened to be a more useful movement in, in the sense of your daily living. I love barbell work, they're great for getting strong, but barbells are designed to be really convenient for lifting weight. It's not very often that you're going to run into something that you have to pick up in the real world that is as easy to lift as a barbell. The weight's well distributed, you've got a grip that's very solid, it's a uniform grip all the way across. For example, if you have to go pick up a bag of mulch, it's going to be very different than uh, deadlifting a barbell. And Deadlifting isn't the full range of that exercise. There are all kinds of ways that you have to get that weight higher so that you can properly carry it someplace. Be it a low carry down here at your waist, a high carry up at your chest, or up on your shoulder for a shoulder carry. And something like a bag of mulch is gonna flop around, it's gonna move, the balance point is gonna be awkward. These are all things that you have to do to train your body and your neurology to actually handle that load correctly. So don't get me wrong, gyms have their uses. It's a nice, safe, controlled environment where you can practice skills. But doing things like bicep curls or tricep extensions don't have any real practical use in the real world short of like rehab. Isolation exercises don't happen in real life. So instead of going into the gym and working out like a bodybuilder to build a well-sculpted body, that looks good, like the magazine covers, or Instagram, or YouTube, go to the gym and build your skills so that you can go out into the real world and further build those skills in a more complex environment. Things like balancing vary depending on the surface. A little bit of wobble, like crossing a uh, down log across a creek, is a huge difference compared to a log that's really solid and doesn't wobble. That's a whole different level of complexity on a wobbly log. And these are skills that you can't build without experiencing them. You can watch all the videos, read all the books you want, but unless you are doing these movements, you will not learn them and apply them. So, like I said, don't train like an athlete unless you are an athlete. And don't focus on building that magazine cover body. Focus on building a body that can perform movements well and as a consequence you will have a body that looks like it performs movements that are complicated if you like the video smash that thumbs up button don't forget to share and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel so that i can keep bringing you videos to help you move better eat better and live better till next time keep your life in motion